said anything you're best in. Those aren't right. Those aren't the right words. No, yeah, they are. Okay, I Untie know all the tables and put them in the Brooklyn. You're not singing the right words. What do you like, mean? I, I know the song. That's not how it goes. That is. No, it's not. It's my favorite song, okay? And that's not how the words. What? You're not singing the right words. What do you like, mean? I, I know the song. That's not how it goes. That is. No, it's not. It's my favorite song, okay? And that's not how it goes. So, as you've guessed, my biggest pet peeve is when people sing the words to the song wrong. Um, it really, really bothers me, especially if it's a song that I actually like. reason it bothers me is because it's not that you're singing the song wrong. It's that you're completely changing the words. And it's not how it's supposed to be sung. Like, the artist didn't want it to be sung like that. Or else they would have put those words in. So, it really bugs me, and I'd never be able to listen to the song the same way again. So in the issue of not singing the right words to a song, the artist had a soul interpretation or meaning in mind when they wrote the song. And when you sing the song wrong, you're completely taking away from that purpose. Um, this is relevant in international law for when it comes to interpreting treaties. Uh, states enter into treaties to address an issue on the notion that the treaty will be represented in the way that it was agreed upon and that it will not have any other meaning or interpretation besides that meaning that they um, agreed upon. When entering into treaties, there's a lot of room for error by states on the incorporation of these treaties into their domestic law. They can either be incorporated by the text, which is adding them word for word from the treaty into the law, or they can be incorporated by substance, which is taking the spirit of the treaty and entering it into the law. Incorporating treaties by substance is where misinterpretation occurs and leads to many disputes between states. Um, these, in international law, these treaty disputes are brought before the ICJ, and they're usually disputes over the interpretation of a treaty rather than a rule of the treaty itself. So there may be no resolution for these problems in international law, but there are some ways that they can be made better, and I think that's if uh, states incorporate treaties verbatim into their law so that all the states that are part of the treaty have the same meaning and interpretation in their law. Um, the interpretation of treaties is especially important when it comes to human rights laws and treaties that states are entering into um, because there's no, you can't have room for error when it comes to these things. So it's very important that they all have the, the same meaning. When it comes to not knowing the words to a song, however, there is one simple resolution, I think, and that is if you don't know the words, don't sing the song. If you want, go Google it. Hum along, ask for the right words, maybe buy the CD, listen to it a bunch of times. It's pretty simple. If you don't know the words, please don't sing the song. Martin, right. Living La Vida Loca.